more deer coming in. Let's go! Oh, dude! <laughs> yes! Yeah. I was just gonna do a, an opening interview. Four does, four deer are coming in. there in the mud. No. Keep it nice and dusty.
you ready? I'm not sure if I have a clear shot. Oh my goodness. I pulled that shot. Oh. No. Why do I mess up so often? I pulled the shot right over his back. The worst time I've ever screwed up hunting, I'm pretty sure. Should have been a slam dunk opportunity. It came in here December 6th. It's freezing cold and windy. And I look over and I see a buck right there. And he comes around right behind the stand. And he got our ground scent. And I was like, here it is. Like, he's perfect. 12 yards. Should have been able to smoke it. Went back, was right at full draw, and just pfft. my hands are so cold. It's stupid. Shot right over the back. Just mm. should have had it. So should have had it. 12 yards. January 8th, 2022, and 
got off of work like 10 minutes ago already went home got changed now I'm going out we think we know which deer, woods the deer are in they cross back and forth between these two places so we're gonna lay out in the field and uh, I'm expecting they'll probably move through within the lat in the last like 15 minutes of light it's 522 right now and uh, shooting light ends at 557 so we're gonna lay out there in the field and Try to shoot a deer. Last day of muzzleloader, so it's really my last good chance yet to kill a deer, so I really want to. Let's go! Oh, dude! Yes! yes. You wanna talk about a plan coming together, dude? Let's go! Yeah! 15 minute hunt, if even that. Dude. MRI. Yeah. It surprised me too. I just put down the bipod on the gun, that way I could shoot level. And I look up and I'm like, oh, dude. There's deer and they were looking at us and they started trotting right at us and I was like, do you get on video? Oh, dude. Oh, were you on them? I, 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 dude, it happened so fast I didn't zoom in. Like, I, but you got it. I, I was the mic on? Yeah. Dude. She's oh, down man. right there. I'm not sure if that's the biggest one or not. No, I just saw one but, but and I was like, all four of them. Okay, so backstory on this. Last night we hunted right there. I literally just got done looking at the stand through my nose. And on our way out, I looked out and saw four deer literally right here. Okay, hopped out, did a little stock, and ended up shooting. I didn't have a good rest. My hands were freezing cold, and it was further than I thought. So pretty sure I shot right now. Well, obviously I missed. All four came back, and there, were, there was four here last night. So we figured, you know what? They probably went up. They'll be in the woods tonight. They'll probably cross back over behind me uh, tonight again. So got off of work, came flying home, changed, came out here, had like a... 15 minute hunt and she's down right there <laughs> dude let's go no waiting. i have never ever had a tag this late in the season and so I, I was willing to shoot a doe i was willing to shoot anything came out here and it smoked it oh dude all right so you saw that happen um cody said he didn't have time to zoom in because it happened so fast and i was like you know what i i'm not letting letting yeah i'm definitely you want to try to get this here so did and I'm gonna call mom. Let's see what she has to say. Hello. Hey, you know I'm calling you. You shot one. Yeah, smoked it. Dropped it on the spot. Oh my goodness! Yippee! Oh well, I said I bet they got one because it's not time. It's not quitting time yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness! Congratulations. So here's our little um, muddy spot where we were actually sitting. So it's kind of cool. We're gonna go up here and. Look at this deer, check her out. 
dude, let's go. Whoa, that was high. I think it did spine her. Ugh, third deer of the year. Finally, dude. Finally another deer. This is honestly the smallest deer I have ever shot. The smallest deer I shot before this was a year and a half old doe. With my bow, literally 60 yards up there. Ah, oh, man. Sweet. All right, so it is January 11th, and uh, the quest for no tag soup is over. I uh, finally harvested my second deer here. Even though it was a doe, I really didn't care. We had a, from, from the beginning, we had a kind of a tough season this year. And uh, Cody and I doubled up one night, and then I left for Wyoming. And that took out a good part of my October, which is when I was kind of hoping to kill a deer, and that's usually the easiest time for me to kill a good buck. So I ended up actually missing a buck um, late season. Not sure exactly what went wrong, but I let's just say after that I got a new release. So um, we just grounded out the other night, saw seven does, couldn't quite make it happen. It was, this doe was this deer was probably one of those one of those does. So last night was really cold, and uh, we decided to get down about 10 minutes early, just because we figured the deer weren't in this woods, due to the fact that they are not always in the woods, and they'll travel back and forth between the two woods. So we got down a couple minutes early, and as we were driving by, I spotted a couple deer out here. So I hopped out, ended up sending a bullet, but did not connect. So I knew that the deer were probably going to still be in this woods um, this evening. So. Cody and I came out here with about half an hour of light left. Got set up in a couple ditches of mud and uh, laid down, didn't have to wait long, and four does came out and he turned the camera on right as I shot. He thought he was recording a little bit earlier, but the camera takes a little bit of time until it's actually recording. So I'm excited to get my second deer down and uh, close out my season with a bang of a muzzleloader. So, yeah, super excited to, to have my tag filled and uh, can't wait till next year. Thanks so much for watching. That wraps up this season, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy.